Hi, my name's Bob Greenier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So I'm going to take the first look with the O in 3D, the basic uh, two-level uh, O, using uh, Google Image Reverse Search. And uh, what you can see here is using the uh, side view of the structure that uh, there is no uh, exact representation available uh, in the initial search of Google but interestingly we have <laughs> quite a lot of UFOs <laughs> so we've got a UFO here we've got a UFO here uh, we've got a UFO here we have a UFO here uh, we have a UFO here we have a UFO here uh, what else um, a UFO here with some aerodynamics uh, using computational fluid dynamics. Then what else do we have? Well, we have some spinning top type things uh, and uh, other things to do with like antenna. So actually this is about a sunstorm here, giant sunstorm. We have this which is a highly efficient uh, parabolic dish reflector. So you can see here. Then this is an extremely efficient lens. They say uh, perfect uh, lens. So it's all kind of like frequency, light, uh, focusing type structures. Uh, in this case, this here is a company selling this incredibly amazing revolutionary singularity antenna now in 2.4 gigahertz it says uh, it's ultra compact circular polarized omnidirectional antenna so it has this incredible structure that they are uh, touting uh, this is another rendering type thing um, what have we got here this is some function programming. This is <laughs> electric dipole radiation here. I don't think this is any surprise as to why you'd be seeing this here. Although it's an anapole to a degree. Uh, oscillating monopole. Um, uh, or monopole. What else do we have? Uh, spinning tops. Uh, this is interesting here. This is a computational fluid dynamic study of Magnus force on axis symmetrical disk type automated underwater vehicle. Automated underwater vehicle with symmetric propulsion. So here we go. Uh, there's an example of it here and some kind of mock-up of what it would do. So these are all things that look like they are to do with interacting with nature, i.e. I, there aren't light or light or light or UFOs or something working with a fluid dynamic here or working with light propagation and so forth. So it's interesting how this is observed these different uh, parallels. Okay so here we've got the radiation pattern of a dipole antenna on a Wolfram. So here we go. So there we go. <laughs> cool, huh? How cool is that? Of course, we are. I've got something a little different from a dipole antenna. It's a monopole. What have we got here? This is a diffraction from. I guess this is another antenna. So this is an energy focusing and cohering structure. It's just what it picks out as. Uh, the Raleigh criterion for microscope, I guess, resolution here. Yeah. So hence you get these unresolved and resolved. And this is your resolution limit, which is where they cross over. Of course it would be. Uh, 
more UFOs. Black hole, of course. <laughs> How cool is that? Um, where are we? There we go. Black hole heavyweights triggered gravity wave effect. Event, rather. I wouldn't be surprised if that is exactly something like what we're doing. Um, what else we got? This is a graphical representation of what? Of the heliospheric current sheet in a Parker Solar Wind model. Okay. Um, absolutely fascinating. What else we got? What else we got? Yeah, we got this fluid dynamics of a UFO, which is uh, quite amusing if that's going to come up. Hmm. There we go, it's actually. There we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> How funny. Anyway, so now I have changed the selection area to a tighter selection. And uh, when I do that, I still get this radar antenna here, but the number of UFOs goes through the roof. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's possibly a UFO or some sort of, it says Martians, that's seven, eight, crashed UFO, nine, <laughs> ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, that, that's that sub thing, 16, 17, 18, uh, that's that antenna, 19, uh, that's a spinner, uh, that's that lens thing again, that's uh, more optics and photonics, uh, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, <laughs> 27, 28, 29. Oh dear. So uh, the vast majority become UFOs when I do that selection. And uh, it's just hilarious because all this is is the structure that comes out of studying the science. Okay, so we're going to now uh, bring that down to a tighter lock. See what we get. <laughs> and it's uh, another different type of UFO, the breather surface, but there are one of many. What's this one? What's this one? Uh, the breather surface is one of the many examples remarkable parametric surfaces can be visualized in R, whatever that is. Okay. Not entirely sure what that is, uh, but I can see why the reverse image search would find it. Lots more orbital things, but uh, yeah, still even similar things going on. Okay, and we're going to come in right to the central area here and see what it thinks. So we'll do this bit here. Ah, <laughs> so, oh God, here we go. We've now got an occult palumbob. <laughs> okay, this is for some sort of game. The fact that the occult comes up, that's hilarious. Um, well, you can see here. A little less specific on the UFOs, but they're still they're still creeping in, aren't they? <laughs> oh dear, how fun is that? This was the first look at the 3DO on the side projection and what Google Reverse Image Search thinks about it. So there we are. My name is Bob Greenier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Thank you very much for your time and I will see you in the next video.